What is going on guys? Mystify here, back here with another steep video. In this steep video, boy do I have a good one for you guys. So this will be an ultimate tutorial on all six sports in steep. I know they're gonna add more in the future, so I might have to make a tutorial on those sports when they come out. So yeah, this is gonna cover the ones that are in the game right now, which is gonna be walking, sledding, skiing, snowboarding, wingsuiting, and paragliding. So I will be going over the basics all the way to like hitting world records and um, little things on how you can improve yourself and basically all of the fundamentals you need to know about the game. I'm going to be working on this video a very, very long time. So uh, yeah, let's just see how this project turns out. If you do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already, and let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to be going over is wingsuiting. Wingsuiting is a very extreme sport. On wingsuiting challenges, the majority of them is either precision or proximity. Precision meaning that it's a race in a wingsuit, like it's a set time to get from point A to point B, and then there is proximity, which proximity is basically how close you can get to the rocks without dying, and the closer you are to the rocks, the more points you will get. So yeah, we're gonna go over the basics of wingsuiting first. So on my left stick, as you guys will be able to see whenever I press up on my left stick I dive straight down and whenever I press down on my left stick I kind of hover upwards so basically all you have to do is you need to find out what is best for the right scenario there are some obstacles and maps that you do have to dive straight down for and I feel like you will learn it really good if you just mess around with it once you like learn the basic controls. Of course, if you press left, you will turn left and if you press right, you will turn right. Okay, on the right stick of thing, whenever you press right on your right stick in a wingsuit, you will do a little dodge to the right and the same thing if you press it to the left. So if there's a rock on your right and you're trying to get out of the way, sometimes Sometimes it's really good to press left on your right stick to dodge out of the way to the left and you know so on so uh, yeah that's pretty much the basics okay here is the advanced portion of the wingsuiting we're gonna start off with precision which is basically races. One thing you need to know about this is you're gonna always wanna go through the top of the checkpoint, like as far top as you can, like on the beginning of your run. So basically you're gonna wanna like start really far away and you're gonna wanna come in really high in the air. And you're gonna wanna try to dive and just barely hit the top of the checkpoint. Sometimes you get a really lucky one because sometimes you're not even really in the checkpoint but it still gives it to you. So. Uh, yeah try to hit the top of your checkpoints the second thing is for racing and this is a big one if you want to get wingsuiting time scores like world record you're gonna need to learn this little exploit like little mechanic in the game so in steep you can actually move diagonal and it makes you go faster even in walking if you walk diagonal you will actually go faster so that mechanic actually works in the wingsuit so if you dodge in the left and or in the right direction over and over again you will just get a little bit of diagonal motion in your wingsuiting and it'll make you go a little bit faster i've talked to many people who have this little exploit down some of them do it at different rates one person i know named bone crusher he does it like one two three four one two three four and then i know another guy named populus who does it much faster like one two three four one two three four i guess it's kind of unknown at this point which is better because they both like have hit world record scores but what both of them told me is you want to go into steep and you want to listen to the game audio and whenever you dodge in one direction over and over again you're gonna hear a little swoosh sound and when you do that over and over and over again you're gonna hear a constant swoosh sound so they keep telling me that I want to keep doing it the perfect amount where I have that constant sound then you know you're doing it right 
Okay, this one thing I want to cover is kind of a tricky little maneuver that you have to do on some of the harder wingsuit maps. So I know there's a really big spot in Le Fuse that you have to do this little trick on, or you won't even be able to complete the map. So basically, if you dive up for like a split second and then dive straight down, your dive will be like way more straight. So on this one point in Le Fuse, you have to do this. So just pay attention to my guy, how I'm trying to stay as low as I can. And then I'm gonna push down on my left analog stick for like a little second and then dive straight down. Just a little tip and it'll probably help you guys out a lot on some of the parts. I know this may be a little bit of a common sense for most of you guys, but I thought I had to throw it in there. So basically when you're going for a really high score on races and wingsuits, your main goal should be to not turn if you don't need to. Because if you turn, you're gonna lose speed. So the more straight you go, the faster you will go. So try to only turn when you absolutely need to or to hit a checkpoint. So yeah, if you guys combine all of the things I told you, then I'm sure you will be a better racer. Now let's move on to proximity wingsuiting. Next up is gonna be proximity. So proximity, like I said earlier, is the game mode where you're gonna try to get really close to rocks and the closer you get without dying, the more points you will get. If you look at your HUD in the left hand corner, you will see really red numbers. And basically what those numbers indicate is the closer you get, the more risk factor you get, the higher score you will get. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you guys one run that I'm gonna do with my controller cam. I want you guys to pay attention how I get really close to like little crevices and look out for little V rocks. It's kind of like two rocks slanted together to make like a V shape. And if you can put your body in between like two rocks and like a V shape, you will get double the points. So basically the most simple way to explain it is do the most risky thing, get as close as you can to the rocks, and of course, the biggest thing of all, always watch the first of all time run to see what run they're going, because half of the trouble is just knowing where to go. The great thing about Steep is, there's usually someone who's already figured out a really good run to get a good score, even if it's not the absolute best run, it's still a really good starting place for you to start at and to practice the run and to get it down. So I do recommend watching that to uh, know where to go. There's not really that many uses to do like the dodge exploit to go in one direction on proximity. It's kind of a little bit useless because you don't really have to go that fast. So yeah, just watch the runs, get as close as you can, look for those little V shapes to crevice yourself into them, and yeah, you should be golden. So yeah, the wingsuiting tips I showed you a minute ago kind of work hand in hand with proximity. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much wingsuiting. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video, if I do like miss something or if I say something incorrect, I will pin my own comment on the top of the comment section and correct myself. So yeah, look out for that. Okay, the second sport is gonna be walking. So walking is pretty simple. Like I said earlier, if you do move diagonal, you will go faster. So notice how I am in this video, how I do walk a little diagonal, and I kind of just glide up the mountain. So if you really didn't go diagonal, you would just go straight up the mountain, and it would be very slow. And while you're moving diagonal, you're going to want to hold RT, because that is the sprint button on walking. So just make sure you hold down RT at all times. And to slide down the mountain, all you want to do is start at the top of a mountain, start at a really steep mountain, and just hold RT and you will just slide down it. It's much faster than going up the mountain I must say. But uh, yeah, that's walking. Next up is gonna be sledding. The first thing we're gonna cover is sled tricks. 
I made this really good graph on the screen right now that basically covers all of the sled tricks. At the top you can see a start button, so you're going to want to start by pressing LT, RT, or both. And once you grab your board, then you can start to do a trick with your left stick. You can see all of the directions of my left stick in this picture of what your trick will look like if you press the left stick in that direction. So uh, yeah, this picture pretty much sums up everything. I will show you guys some gameplay of me doing it with my controller cam though just in case you don't understand it And also, if you press A, or if you press X on PlayStation, you will jump off of the sled, and it looks a little something like this. And one more thing to note, when you are racing in a sled, try not to make really big turns, because if you make too big of a sharp turn, you will fall off of your sled. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much the sled. The next sport is gonna be snowboarding and skiing. I'm going to start off by showing you guys the trick guide for the snowboard and the ski. Similar to my sledding trick guide I put on like the screen. So you guys can see which ways you can push your analog stick to do the different tricks. So I have that on the screen right now. I didn't actually make this one so all credit goes to the guy. I will have the link to the original picture with the original owner in the description and it should be on the screen as well. So yeah, all credit goes to him. So yeah, I have the snowboarding trick guide and the skiing trick guide on the screen so if you do want to look at it just make sure to pause the video. One game mechanic I need to go over that is very important no matter what you're doing, whether it being a scoring event or a racing event, you need to learn how the G-Force system works. So basically, whenever you're going down the mountain on your ski or your snowboard, you will see a little bar on the left of your character. So every time you make a really, really big jump or land something not clean down the mountain or hit a rock or anything like that, that meter will go down. And on certain jumps, you need a certain amount of g-force to land the jump so it's always best to always land as clean as possible so you don't use up your g-force meter so my advice would be land as clean as you possibly can on any big jump if you look at your g-force meter on the left you will see the bottom bar in that g-force meter you can land most of the jumps as long as you have that bar if you land completely clean i know some jumps are like very very big and you probably can't land like a huge jump with only like a bar of g-force meter but most jumps you can land it with that bar so uh yeah the g-force meter is a little bit confusing i will answer any questions you guys have in the comment section i will try to reply to all of them so if you have any questions please let me know the next thing i'm going to talk about is how to get the maximum height off of your jumps i know the majority of my subscribers are skate 3 players and i'm sure you guys know if you do play skate 3 you can high pop tricks in the game and you get a higher pop on a trick if you high pop it well there's a system in steep kind of like that so if you hold down rt for a good second before you do a jump you will get a higher pop off of that jump so if you want to go really high you need to find the sweet spot of how long to hold rt to get the maximum height before you do your jump so you're going up a jump you want to hold down rt for like a little second before you go off of the jump and then as soon as you want to jump, you let go of RT and you should get a really high jump. But keep in mind some maps, it's better to not do it. For example, if you are on a racing map and there's like a mid-air checkpoint, sometimes it's better to just barely tap RT. But if you are going for points, 
and you want to go the highest you can and to get the most points off of that jump, definitely find the sweet spot on how long to hold RT. It's a very, very important mechanic, but very simple at the same time, so make sure you get it down. Okay, now that I think I do have the basics down, I'm going to go into trick events and how to get the highest score in those. So, as you guys know, in Steep right now, there is not a repeat system, meaning that you could do the same trick over and over and you will get the same points. So, usually, people just like to do one trick if you are going for a high score. If you don't want to do the same trick over and over again, I mean, that's fine. You probably shouldn't go for a high score, you should just play casual, because that's kind of how the game is right now. If you want to go for a high score, it's usually the best to just perfect one trick and do it over and over again. Um, a lot of tricks in Steep Steep actually give the same amount of points though, not a lot of people know that. So mostly all of the people who play Steep competitively, including myself, Snix, and Cinematic, we all do nose grabs. But not any type of nose grab, we all do nose grab and then we tweak the trick. We do believe that that's the highest point trick in the game right now is the nose grab tweak. So of course I will show you some gameplay of me doing it and then you can try to recreate it and try it out. But I also do believe if you do the tell grab with a tweak you should get the same score but no one does it though because me snicks and cinematic we all like kind of like learned off of each other and we all kind of did the same thing so yeah no one's really tried out tell grabs but uh yeah try to get a trick down that you're really good at and perfect it okay once you have your nose grab tweak down or any other trick you want to try out down another key way on how you're going to get your points is doing the most spins and rotations in the air on the big jumps so I hold my left analog stick at around 9 to 10 o'clock whenever I spin and I pretty much hold it until I hit the ground. Sometimes I let go just a second before I hit the ground, but most of the time, I hold my trick and I hold my spin till I pretty much hit the ground. My good friend Calplex, when he did play this game, he used to always like overspin and just fall on really big jumps. I really wasn't sure what his problem was. He kind of like let go a little bit before and he just fell on his face. And I do believe the reason I don't fall on really big jumps is because I kinda hold my tweak. It's kinda a little bit confusing, but of course, check out my controller. I kinda hold it at a stance whenever I know I can't spin anymore to like let go and just hold it in that stance until I hit the ground. Uh, so yeah, I hope this helped if you did have that problem. One thing is to note, if you are gonna be going for really high scores on trick events, please use a snowboard. We are fairly confident that snowboards do give you more points. Like I said, we haven't really tested that that much, but from what we gathered, whenever we do the same run on a skis, we do get a little bit lower points. So yeah, trick events is probably better at the minute on snowboards. If you do want to try it out, let me know. I might be wrong. Okay, I do think I covered trick events pretty well. So now I'm going to move on to racing on snowboard and skis. And just like how I said that snowboarding is better for tricks, I have to break it to you, skiing is way better for racing. You get way more control on skis, so uh, yeah. Okay, racing on snowboard and skis. Make sure you put the first of all time ghost on so you know you're like catching up to them and stuff. Always hold your left analog stick forward whenever you're racing and make sure you're always going on a flat surface. You don't want to hit like any bumps in the ground. They will just kill all of your speed, so make sure you're holding forward the whole entire time and make sure you're watching the first of all time to make sure you're going the right way, make sure you put the ghost on, and make sure you have a clear path. And also, on a map called Steep Skills and a lot of other maps, it's really good to pre-select your turns. So basically that means just turn really early and you will perfectly go into the checkpoint. And also, going close to objects sometimes gives you a little speed boost especially off of trees. For creative line, pretty much watch the first of all time run, and also on the bone collector ones and most of the other ones, just watch the first of all time run. But of course, if you have any questions, just ask. Okay, last but not least, it's gonna be paragliding.
So in paragliding, you can ride straight up mountains. If you get really close to the rocks, the rocks will just glide you up the mountain. You can tell how strong you're getting pushed up on the mountain. If you look on your screen, there should be like a little indicator that indicates how strong of a breeze that's pushing you up the mountain. Usually the more closer you get to the rocks, the faster you will go up the mountain. If you are about to land in the parachute, you're gonna wanna hold LT. And if you do want to perform some sick stunts while paragliding, you're going to want to hold RT. Then you can do some front flips and some back flips. Other than that, the controls for paragliding is kind of similar to wingsuiting. If you press up, you will go down in your parachute. And if you press down, you will glide upwards. So yeah, I'm going to leave you guys with a little bit of gameplay of paragliding so you guys can see what it's all about. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Boy, has it took me a while to edit this. So I really do hope you guys do appreciate it. Let's try to get 100 likes on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, have a great day, guys. Bye.